Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Cold Cast game for Cold Cast Marathon number five. And uh, let me tell you, I didn't think we'd be seeing another 2v2, but we are. Oh, it is 2v2. Look at that. It is indeed Mr. Maximus Black. Yep. Hitting me up with the sound of rivering a royal flush to win it all. Oh yeah, you can't do sounds for this. Ten of diamonds. I'm all in. <laughs> I call. <laughs> Royal flush, bitch! Woo! Let's go! Get fucked! <laughs> Get fucked. Yeah, that's everybody's dream. But usually you just end up getting rivered. Yeah, I actually, um, the last uh, poker session that I had online, I had a full house. I turned a full house, and they rivered the Royal Flush. Oh, shit. Gross. Yeah. That's gross. And it took me for half my stack, and I ended up coming coming back to win the whole tournament. Damn. Yeah. That was my last uh I mean, poker getting win. rivered sucks. If you get rivered for a Royal Flush, you can't even is. be mad. It is what it is. Because, I mean, damn. Yeah. That's you just gotta be happy that the dude flopped a fucking or or rivered a friggin' royal flush. That's some next level shit. We have got a two v two going here, guys. We've got up top right. We've got uh, Artemis Fowl. Artemis Fowl. Oh and man. Goblin. Artemis Fowl is from a book. I just can't think of which one right now. And we've got barcode and unit. unit. I actually think the title of the book might be Artemis Fowl. I just can't remember. Uh, wow, we've got some cheese going up here. We've just got some cannons denying the gold expansion uh, from Yunit, who is over here on the top left. So we've got purple and teal versus blue and red. And uh, wow, actually, a double cannon rush. Two two way cheeses here. This is uh, very interesting. So I don't think they're just planning on stopping the uh, the expansion. I think this is part of their uh, their master plan. Yeah, well, the guy was saying he's going to need his partner's dank queen. Because we all know the queens are deep in the green. Uh, but, I mean, double cannon rush. I mean, this is... I feel like I feel like 2v2s, it's, it's got to be 90% cheats. I mean, does anybody, honest to goodness, take 2v2s seriously enough to, like, strategize some sort of... I'm sure there is, but... Whenever I play 2v2s, I'm like, all right, let's both six pool, or let's both cannon rush, or let's both mm. do something, right? Usually do these unorthodox builds. I don't, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there is, and I'm sure there is. People that, like, play legitimate StarCraft 2v2 style, you know? And I think a, a, probably a lot of those people are inexperienced StarCraft players that are just like... Let's have let's do some two v twos and let's try and own it up. Mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm, I mean? That mm -hmm. I remember playing two v twos and you know NR twenties and uh, you know uh, fastest money map possible matches and just legitimately having oh, I fun. I had a great time. And I I'll be honest, like I am kind of salty that I don't feel that way about StarCraft anymore in terms of fun. Fun to me is orcing somebody and making them rage quit <laughs> while grinding ladder points. Yeah. Like that that to me is fun now. Playing a fastest money map possible, although is fun if I'm doing like subscriber games and shit, or like a Noble War says. But for me to play four or five hours, ten hours of non competitive, non ranked games, I'm just way too beyond that now. And I, a, I'm envious of people that still enjoy the game at 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 oh that yeah. level. Well, there, there's a point in any game. That's why, like, that's why, like, I was waiting for with Overwatch, where a lot of people were like, "Oh, the community is so not toxic, and everybody gets along and has a great time, and it's so much fun. You play with your friends." And I was like, "All right, look, this game hasn't been out long enough, and the competitive mode hasn't come around yet. As soon as that shit rolls out and you get into it, there's going to be this magical moment. You're not going to know when it's going to happen." It's going to be one game, one special game, and it's probably going to be a ranked game you lose. And from that point on, you might not even notice the change in your heart. But you're going to turn into a jaded, sadistic asshole that wants to blame the partners for everything, just like everybody else is going to want to do it too. And it's going to be acid spitting all over the place. 
and it will take you from wanting to play the game for fun to wanting to play the game competitively to win competitively and it happens in so many games now because it ha it's like multiplayer games have to have a competitive side and if they don't people apparently just don't want to see it but yet when they get into the competitive side then they turn salt so it's like people just love their salt they, they want they want they want all of that that you know heart failure yep they want it they uh, want it bad it's to be expected but i will say so far overwatch has been great in terms of community i mean um until you play solo queue well yeah i mean i even play solo queue there's been people that have been like vocally upset with the team but it hasn't been like i also find when you're when you're on comms like when you're talking to people they're they're not as likely to really bm nice a circle of life there on the, yeah. on the cannon um opposed to like a like an all chat and stuff like that uh it's just kind of the way it is this is actually a really solid counter attack uh a bunch of units queens lings coming for a, a counter after all those cannon rushes and a beautiful circle of life not oh, allowing those uh, those lings to get us around there and now the reapers are doing damage i don't have the uh, the power uh the, the life bars the hp bars up at the top because this is an old uh, replay and they reset everything but um yeah very very well played and some nicely placed cannons as well uh what else we got going on there's so much going on in 2v2s managed to get rid of that expansion managed to get rid of this uh main as well and we're pretty much down to just blue uh versus two people it's just queens versus the world bro it is and, and queens doing, are strong he's doing a hell of a job right now yep I mean, this. I mean, he he can produce some nice. some lings and stuff, but other than that, he has gone ham with the the queens. He's gonna run out of uh, of energy for transfuses here soon. He's not gonna be able to keep up with marines and SCVs. Uh, but my God, is he giving it a go? Look at him go! Wow, these queens are doing serious damage, and the transfuses are on point. Finally, oh. loses one queen because there's just no energy left. The Void Ray is going to go down, and the Mothership oh, Core. wow. The Marines are going to go down as well. There's a Liberator that's going to get posted up here. He needs to siege now. Look at this glorious son of a bitch go. And these Queens are putting in some serious work, man. Are these Queens going to do it? Horrible place to siege up. The Liberator is going to fall. The Siege Tank is sieging. Is he going to be able to get another Queen? He needs to start picking them off. A sick Transfuse oh. goes down. Getting rid of more Marines. Just go! And Red is saying easy. He's doing the BM for his Do partner it. while his APM is non-stop. Do it! This is sick. He might actually pull this off. Make it happen! Wow. Don't let your dreams be dreams, you glorious fuck. Artemis foul. Your books were great and so is your queen play. Wow. Hot damn. But an expansion going down here. Queens can only move so fast. And another expansion going down this way. Make it happen. Uh, Red's got a little bit of units left. He's microing like crazy. He was obviously given some minerals from his uh, from his partner. Now he's going to go ahead and grab gold. And just like that, these guys are back in it. The Queen's ridiculous transfuses. Ridiculous. Oh, and waited to the ridiculous. last moment every time. Very well played. He can't keep up with that right now. But he's building another, uh, another hatchery here to keep up. He's going to basically reduce as much of this as he can and but uh, that expand, i mean that protoss has got this he's got way too much to be pushing in on it way too many cannons he's got void rays coming as well red's actually talking about about blue like he's going to be able to do something he's like build more queens you got to have more queens carry me harder yeah, it's like seriously. bro he can only build so many with what he's got. Yeah. He's not. He's just pulled off something that was should have been basically impossible, and he's making it work. Yeah, just really, really nice queen micro. And look, he's gonna pick off these voids. At the very least, he's gonna get rid of this pile on it. Be focusing down that real quick. Still got quite a bit of queens. He's got to be careful on how much creep he does spread. He's gonna want as many transfuse as possible. Uh, he's got more queens, so I guess he is okay to keep uh, keep spreading it up. Just didn't want him to get a little uh, overzealous with the with the energy usage. Oh, he's got one there. The uh, the tank came up and pushed him away from wanting to do too much more. That base is almost mined out for the Protoss, and so. They're going to be leaning pretty hard, at least in the most part, for uh, for minerals and resources in general on the Terran player. Here comes uh, here comes the next round. Oh, God. He's got those tanks in some nasty locations, but he can get rid of them pretty quick. Yep. He doesn't have the high ground vision anymore. Yep. So his tanks aren't even going to be able to attack. 
And just like that, two of them go down. Uh, he these... could get nasty and put some spines down there to really start picking away at stuff and keeping him more uh, more protected. There's the Void Rays to finally come in as a bit of a counter like, attack. I like this idea. The problem is, is that Nidus... Oh, he's got, he just got rid of the Nidus. Yeah, he got uh, rid of the Nidus, yeah. So he's not going to be able to go back and stop this. So he's going to lose everything, and Red just isn't going to be able to get on his feet. It's only three queens here. I don't even know if he wants to take this fight unless he just focuses this down forever and loses Void Rays for no reason. Which uh, looks like it could happen. Nah, he's, he's, he'll be all right here. There we go. He's going to get rid of that layer, off. and he's going to back off. Very well played. Oh, he's pushing in on it, Jeff. He's going for it. He's pushing in. in. More absence, transfuses. He just does not want to lose a queen ever. In his absence, he has gotten rid of a lot of what was here, but there was a lot of cannons and still remains two more. As those uh, those boy warriors come back, but there's way too many queens. They can't engage with that. Queens just massacre whatever they've got right now. This was a great opportunity. Yeah, good good counterattack to try and draw some attention away, but not enough. No. These are a lot of queens. Oh, transfuses again. Has this guy lost a queen? I, he's maybe lost two. Unbelievable. But he has gone next level. I want him to win so hard you know, right now. I'm going to put on... Uh, it's really bugging me. I I, I want to see... Okay, get these I want to see how on. close yeah. these queens are to come to die in. I didn't... Uh, uh, show unit life bar always. always. There we go. Oh, that's the show. There we are. That's much huh. better. And he gets another one right on the edge of death. I mean, what does Teal got going on right now? He's building up some tanks, and he's got marauders. He's going stim. He's he doing what have, he can. But he doesn't have that much. I no. mean, if Zerg goes down right now... Oh yeah, he, there ain't no way this Terran's winning this fight. As uh, long as he, if, if these transfuses keep going the way that they have been, look at this. He oh, just don't let. He doesn't let oh, a queen die. He oh, does not let a queen die. We even got a oh, siege tank sieging over here from the left. Oh. And still oh, going. Dirty. And oh, look, the look team at Red. Is still look at Red is BMing for him. He's oh like, my like, God. Well, he has time because he's just doing nothing else with his life. He's getting his shit ruined right now. His Meanwhile, friggin' just... partner is carrying. Fuck you, new. Oh, oh shit, he's salty. Oh, the queen. I know they're transfused. The out. Look at the BM coming out of Goblin, living up to his name. Oh, oh he's so angry. He wants a one v one. That's the we all know that's the ultimate form of salt and You know how crack. awesome it would be if these guys agreed to a 1v1 and they sent the game in for us oh, to cast next. Oh man, this guy that is, is a epic. barcode name playing scrub tier 2v2, getting stomped 2v1 by a dude playing with queens. Get red. Oh! And blue wants to watch! That's just next level. Get wrecked. Everybody knows that as soon as you've gotten angry enough to call out a 1v1, you've already passed the point of tilting. Yep. You should just turn off the game for the day. Yep. Because you're not going anywhere with that. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wow. Nice bases. Oh, oh nice. man. This guy. He goes in. He goes in hard. No, this is not Archon mode. This is just a flat out 2v2. Oh, wow. Unbelievable, man. This guy's taking over his base. Look at the creep spread. It's so BM. <laughs> he does not let queens die. No, he doesn't. He, I mean, he he might have lost a, a, just a few at best. Damn. Get Ling's there. This guy, and it, look, he's like directing him how to play. Yeah, <laughs> as, if, as if he needs help. Yeah, seriously. Look at this guy. Look. He's just being a legend. Artemis Fowl is being an absolute legend. This guy is like back, right backseat gaming and BMing could, on look, behalf dude, of somebody else. This dude could be building Lings himself. Look at how much he's got. What is he doing? Yep. Ay, ay, ay. Let the guy who is just completely ruining the other two players do his thing. Ay, ay, ay. And you go sort out some other crap. Well, here comes the Immortals. I'm sure these will do something. Probably not. Oh, that queen just doesn't let him die. Yep. Just lose it, will not let a queen. Oh, one went down. Oh, shit. One went down. Oh, shit. That's got to be like a whopping four queens in total. Oh, yeah, they are. They're both controlling these queens. That's why it's so sick. Oh. So, uh, you, you can, yeah, they're right. There, there is. Oh, yeah, that's they're true. both They're both controlling the queens. You can see, like, the red circle and then the blue circle will but show up. But that might actually be a counterproductive. I feel like red's just fucking with them. Yeah, most know. of the time, I'm pretty sure it's just been no. blue. I, I don't know. I wasn't. I because, actually wasn't looking at the because circle. it's not like blue could be back home macroing. He doesn't have anything to macro with. No. 
Oh, well, either way. I Look, mean, red's, these, red's like... Uh, there's red. Red's moving. Red's moving. Oh, red's my moving. goodness. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. These guys are working together. I guess now he can rightfully shit talk. Because he is... Although his base got wrecked. Oh, if it's red... I don't know. I don't even care who. Whoever's doing it. Whether it's one or the other or both. The wreckage is real. Uh, I mean, this just queens are just killing everything. Wow. Look at the amount of queens. Oh, just... Then now... See, now it's just... Oh, wow. Now it's just ultimate BM. Oh, Goblin still talking shit. Now He's Goblin... Now Goblin... Now it makes sense. Goblin has earned his right to BM. I wasn't paying attention to that shit. I forgot that that was even a thing. Crazy. Crazy game. He's still making immortals. I don't give a fuck. Why would he care about immortals? The dude's got like 19,000 queens. Well, these guys are both. These guys are both to be GG'd out. I mean, there's just no, no way. All right, he's gonna take off with two immortals. One immortal's gonna pop. No, nope, he cancels. That was actually a smart cancel. He knows he can't do anything else. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because I don't think these queens are gonna be able to do a whole lot of anything. You have to move around. All right. He's going to go ahead and try find, and attack this hatchery. Find flying bases, retard. Oh, this guy's salty. Look what he's doing. The levels of salt. Very salty. What a game. This is a good 2v2. It's a really good 2v2. Bro, I don't know, but that could be number one. This is number one. That could be number one. This is number one. I just, I just witnessed like what was essentially at 1.6 queens. This is the dragon cleaver. Dismember and dismantle. Yep. I mean, I'm just gonna speed this up because literally all it's gonna be is chasing down buildings. Yeah, and they're just gonna talk shit. Your, your mom, bitch, okay, shit talking behind a barcode but doesn't know English, and gets beaten by a 14-year-old in game. Suck my dick, baby. Toss still has a base, you know. I don't give a fuck. Suck my dick, baby. I would, but it's too small. I can't see it. Oh, those middle school comebacks. Maybe he actually is 14. It's possible. He is oh, down. man. These guys are just salty. Suck Ugh. my dick, baby. You idiots, lol. This is like some of the lowest tier burns I've ever heard in my life. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gents. Number one game. Yep. Number last BM. <laughs> that was terrible. Wow. A solid game, though, man. Solid, solid game. Man, the Queen Micro. Gets me excited, man. I'm kind of excited for Just a 2v2 the, tournament. The Dragon Cleavage was real. Came out in spades. And the the one man to rule them all, that I wasn't paying attention. I thought Red was just, you know, basically trying <laughs> to order around Artemis Fowl, the god, when in reality, it, Goblin was the god the whole time. Yep. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was Bless them. that was one hell of a game. Uh, big thanks to our sponsors that make these possible. Your Wood Watches, 5% off by using the promo code BOUSE. And Chairs for Gaming, $20 off by using the promo code Maximus Black. Chairsforgaming.com if you're in the U.S. And Chairsforgaming.ca if you are in Canada. Uh, that was a fairly long game, 22 minutes, probably the longest one of the tournament and the best yeah. of the tournament. Oh, by miles. So, uh, yeah, we will be back right after this. Going to run a quick set of ads uh, and uh, plug some giveaways. Don't go anywhere. Right back.